everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on uh, Fullcraft today. It's been a little while. I did a couple streams uh, middle of last week. And in those streams we did some things. And then I have been away for quite a while. It's right now about Sunday around 1 p.m. I'm about four hours behind on getting started. So uh, yeah, we, we're working on this. So it looks like some people have had some fun here. Um, what's going on? I see uh, chance cubes all over and some stuff going on with the dragon and some things. So we're going to see what's been going on. I'm going to tell you what's been going on with Mizo so far. He is, uh, we just recently upgraded the server. The server is at uh, 2.3.1. Uh, in that we have no more uh, fluid cows. I believe there are other little cows, which I haven't experienced yet. Uh, but we'll do that soon. In the stream, I worked at uh, getting flight because I really needed some flight. So we have flight ability now with an angel ring. If you see uh, in here, we've got an angel ring, which is working out really well for us. And we worked some more on the chickens. And I created a line that runs from the chicken output over to some storage drawers so we can kind of see it and get it stored, sorted more. And that's pretty cool. So what I wanted to do, though, in the stream that we had was I wanted to start up a new base. And so I have a new base. It's out near some water. And I'm going to go there now. So uh, you can see it's called New Base. And basically what it is, is I'm going to try to see if I can fly here. Um, these two islands, and you can see up in the mini map, I got them kind of highlighted. There's three squares, three by three. This is going to be where my eye base is going to be and it's going to be a very huge tower and I like this area for a couple of reasons one of them is is that because it's in the ocean um, it'll be easier to have a mob farm that we want okay now that's this tower that I wanted to make I wanted to make it out of prismarine and so I created a bunch over here of uh, prismarine chickens we worked on that in the stream and I made a place where I can get prismarine and they have a crafter that's making prismarine and you can see I've got a lot of prismarine it's been working over the time so that's really good so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to be working on this base and making basically uh towers i want to make circular towers so we're going to be uh, going in and looking at a circle generator so i can figure out how to make them and then we're going to be building that up but first what i want to do is we've got a lot of prismarine stacked up here so we're going to go back to base and i want to make another diamond chest so that we can uh <laughs> keep on gathering more hit prismarine because we're going to need a lot of the stuff and it's just right now we're backlogged. So usually when you do this you need to have an iron chest which I don't have any and it's not linked anymore. An iron chest it's pretty easy. Make that. Of course I don't have any chests so we'll do that. <laughs> it's always something isn't it? Okay here's our chest. Let's do the iron one. You make that, there it is, you put that up there, you want to make the gold, and then you make the diamond. And you do that so that it um, has the right amount of storage. Uh oh, we're out of gold. What's the deal with gold? Um, we can get some gold there, but I'm, going, I'm low on gold. I'm going to have to uh, get some more there. Where's the gold chest? There it is. Okay. We may have to go hunting for some gold. And the diamond chest there it is okay so I've got that down in my inventory now we'll go back to the other base so we go home new base if you're not familiar with the home commands you can always go and see my video I produced recently that shows you how to use those there it's uh, pretty easy and it's very useful when you're using this in full craft so we're gonna add another one of these chests I'm gonna put it right here and we'll put that right there we're going to make this side insert. So it's basically, it's just going to dump it to here. And this is always active. And there we go. And this machine, see, it's kind of starting to pull material out. There we go. And as any of this stuff comes from these chickens, it'll make more. So this will fill up slowly. I'm not worried about the speed. We got plenty. We got a lot to do. Okay, let me go and get a couple other things. And we're going to go back and check out those chance cubes and see what we can see. And we're going to uh, start then to work on the tower. Flying above the temporary base, and you can see there, they, there's a ring of these uh, Halloween related chance cubes. Looks like here's a big one that the uh, lighting got messed up on. There it is. 
So this is kind of scary. There's another one over here. Apparently they've been shooting things out of the, the dragon there and lighting everything in fire. We don't have fire spread on. So what are we going to do? Here's another big chance cube. Wow. Wow, this is uh, kind of scary. Thanks, guys, whoever did this. Um, I appreciate it. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. I would like to wait maybe until after I get this stuff moved out because I don't want to lose a lot of this stuff. Um, worry that uh, something will blow up and it will blow up my entire base, and we don't want that yet. Okay. So let's see. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to go. We're going to start to uh, make up the tower over at the other part of the base. So... We'll let this stuff sit for a little bit, and we're going to start that up. I'm going to dump some of my stuff into the inventories because I don't need the space being taken up in my inventory. And then we're going to head over there. So this will be kind of fun. I'm looking forward to this. I know someone's going to ask what is going on here, and I'll just tell you really quick. All these uh, prison marine chickens are making prison marine shards. The shards are going into this chest. Everything else is going in here. That includes eggs and feathers and manure. Okay. They're going out into this device here, the bottom one, which is a crafter, and we make a recipe for prismarine. So as soon as they comes in, it makes a prismarine block, which then goes on out. Now I have brought over my 25 million capacitor on top of here. Um, so yeah, it's ready to go and supplying power. And just to make sure it's okay, I have a, a photovoltaic cell, basically a solar panel attached to it, which tries to keep it topped off. So. Uh, yeah, it seems to be working really well. I don't have any trouble with getting Prismarine, okay? So now we're going back over here, and I was just kind of in the stream kind of specking out where the the uh, chunks are, and that pillar I just made is the center that I want to make for my um, circles, okay? So what we're going to do is I want to make a circle that's three chunks wide, and then I'm going to go 20 blocks high, and then we're going to take the circle in a couple blocks, and then go 20 blocks high. So this is a huge tower. I want this to be a massive, just gigantic tower going all the way up as far as we can go. Um, and so we're going to try to make it the frame out that we want here, okay? So if I do, oh, there's some rubber banding. So if we start right here, I should be able, I'm going to turn on the, uh, there we go, chunk borders. This should go all the way out to the, uh, the chunk edge. And the reason why I'm doing the 3x3 three three chunks is so that um, I can try to save on uh, server resources. That way I only have to put, like, chunk load the nine chunks, and it should be fine. We shouldn't have to have any other issues, okay? So I'm looking on my uh, circle generator on another window here, and it basically says if I go out four, like that, and then I go over and go five, so this is one, two, three, four, five. We're going to be counting with Tinker, okay? And then I got looks like two three so it's one two three one two three and then we have a two so there's a two and then there's a three okay now this is where I was getting kind of hard to see here looks like three twos actually it looks like three twos let me do it from the other side here sometimes this is easier to do if I go from here now this is supposed to be one block away because it's of it being an odd number it should go to about uh, one more. There. Okay. So we're going the same thing over here. We're going to do four. One, two, three, four. It's going to be a five. Right there. It's like two threes. A two. A three. And we're getting really close. And all these should be a two. So there's, right, there's a two. And there's a two. And that should be it. There's one block right here, but that's easy. And that's the curve. Okay, so if you look up here, there we go. Okay, and so now we'll go do that all the way around, and we'll have that done. So let me just do that real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, the circle is made. That's the floor level of the tower. Now below the tower, eventually I'm going to make some sort of like rock formation that goes out down into the ocean and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's looking pretty good. Thomas is having some issues. We just uh, upgraded to 2.31 and has mini moves uh, in this thing, and he can't find any, and he's um, having some troubles with that. And I mean, I just fly over to my other island right over here. I call it my island. It's not really my island, but there's, I believe, there's one right over here somewhere. Yeah, see, right there. It's a uh, poison mini move. So I mean, I know they're in, and I know it's working. 
So I'm not sure why he's not finding them or if he's not able to see them, um, if they're just really slow, because it took a while. I mean, you can't see it from this far away. I mean, he's not there. So perhaps it's a way of seeing it, um, you know, if you're really close to see it. I don't know. See, it's like right, right there. So you have to be kind of close. But anyway, um, so that's something that's going on. So what I want to do with this here is I want this layer. I'm going to, Basically, I'm going to have layers, and I'm thinking about how much space I want per layer. And I want it to go 20 blocks high, and then we'll go in a couple blocks, okay? So if we're down here, I want 20 blocks of space. If we count, well, if we count this up as one, this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Now, see, that's pretty good. It might be just enough, but I thought maybe 15. We'll go 15. How about that? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, that's that. And then we're going to put a roof on it, and it goes back over to the center, okay? And we'll do another circle. That'll be the roof of the circle. And then on top of that, starting about two blocks in, we'll have the next like tier of the tower of the circle. So let me just get this done, and I'll kind of show you what it'll look like, okay? Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I did the first layer you saw on camera, and I started to do the roof up here. And then I went in two blocks on all edges. I'm getting a little bit of rubber banding because people are on exploring. Um, but I went on up and in two edges, and then I put another roof on. And we'll just keep on doing this, going up and up and up until we get to the whole entire uh, thing built where we run out of space going in. And now that'll be basic of the tower. Now what is this that I'm trying to do? Well, each layer is going to have some sort of different functionality. We might have one layer be all dedicated to power in the storage system. Another layer might be farms or a mob farm down here. So... There are lots of different ways that we, things we can do with this tower, but I want to get the superstructure going. Now, I'm using these, uh, this just regular prismarine block. Um, I will eventually be doing some things with chisel blocks that will make them look better, but I just want to get the superstructure done so that I know exactly what I'm doing. Now, we're having some trouble here with daylight, and this place is a major mob farm. It's awful, so I'm going to sleep and let the sun come back up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, work on making some more of these layers, and uh, see how much time I have left for this video. Like I said, I started late, so the video is probably going to be a little shorter than usual um, because I want to get it out. Okay, so let me uh, keep working. Thought I'd give you a progress update. You can see all the layers. They have one, two, three, four, five layers, and you can see it's slowly narrowing as it goes to the top. Okay, this is just the superstructure of what I'm, I'm going to be making. I don't know what it's going to look like exactly, but. We're going to be going up. Now we're currently at elevation roughly 152, so we got plenty of space to go up. Uh, so no problems there. What's really cool, if you look up in the upper right hand corner, you see the mini map. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Does it show it up here at all? You can kind of see it. Um, it's making the ring. You can see what it looks like. And uh, you can see we're only going to have maybe three or four more layers before we get to the top, which is going to be kind of cool. So let me uh, see if I can get all the way up there and we'll see how it goes, okay? I'll be back in just a little bit. This may be the last layer I do. Uh, we're up at, right now, at around 224. I probably could go one more, but um, I'll leave that for later because this is getting pretty basic here. Um, we could bring something like maybe some walls up on the edges and things, but it's it's about where I think it should go. So uh, I think I'm about done with this uh, as, far, as far as the superstructure is concerned. Now what my intention is, I will eventually be making elevator blocks that are right at the center. So that's how you would get it between the floors. Okay. So if you look here, you all these floors where you put different parts of our base into. Farms and power and storage and uh, fabrication and all of that sort of thing. Okay. And then we'll have to make this look a lot of oh, rubber banding going on. We'll have to make it look better down at the bottom, going out into the ocean, nice island-like area. But that'll look really, really cool. Okay? So that's the plan. And there's a lot of rubber banding going on, so I'm not sure what else I can do right now. Um, I think I'm going to stop the video here and call it quits for today. And then what we'll do is, um, in the next video, we'll keep working on some of this. Um, I don't have a lot of time, like I said, because of things that have been going on. I was out of town all day yesterday, which was Saturday. I, I mean, I didn't even get up until late today, so I'm, I'm a little behind, and I do apologize for that. But yeah, we got a lot done. This looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Do you like this so far? The idea of the tower in the middle of the ocean? Wow, that rubber banding is really getting crazy. Uh, Kent and Thomas are on. They're probably exploring, causing some of the issues.
with their exploring. So anyway, uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comments section. If you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. I plan on streaming tonight. This is Sunday. I should be streaming around 8 o'clock Eastern on Twitch. You can see my uh, on the screen. You can see it's Twitter or Twitter. It's twitch.tv slash tinker77live or it's also in the description. So hey, come and join us. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.